Alright, so let's do a quick proof with double negation. Now, just like with all of these other proofs, to, to give you a sense of the steps you'll be taking, I'm going to start from a blank desktop and open up Jake, just so you know. Right, so you always start by loading up the natural deduction stuff that we have here in the course. Uh, this is going to correspond to the example that Professor Ellis used on double negation, so we need to create it here in this editor. So we have not not p and not not q as the first part, and we want to be able to deduce q and p. Okay. So once we have this loaded up in the editor, we'll fire up the, uh, the proof. Now, the first thing that I like to do uh, when we're hitting something like this is to break apart um, the premises that we have here, just to get access to all of the individual things. Um, so we see that there's a top level conjunction uh, tying together the not not p and the not not q. So we're going to use conjunction elimination, preserving the left. And again, we're going to use conjunction elimination, but this time preserving the right. Uh, now we have uh, these two individual ones here, and so we can remove the negations um, using the double negation elimination here inside of the forward path. Right? So we remove it on the Q, and we remove it on the P, and so now we are left with everything that we need to finally deduce Q and P. So we select these two, control click to get the two of them there. I'm going to do forward, conjunction, introduction. Uh, and we'll see here that there's two different options and it's asking us do we want P and Q or Q and P. Depending on what it is that you're trying to deduce, you want to pick the right option for that. So here we want Q and P, and as soon as we select that, we have the entire proof. And so there we go. It's a fairly simple, uh, straightforward one, but uh, it's useful and we'll get to more complicated ones later on in the course.